frequency. So let's say that we have a voltage source over here and this time we have let's say a resistor over here uh, we have a, ca a capacitor on this like this and then let's close the circuit here like this and now I am going to connect an inductor let's say like this so this is a step up of this um, model that we have up there because now we don't have a simple system with a series connection but we have two loops and both of them are in parallel so why don't we take the make uh, in the same way as we did up here we do the steps okay so here's what we're going to do. I'm just, uh, because we are beginning and learning this process, I am going to uh, write down the steps uh, on the right hand <coughs> side also. So uh, step number one. So why don't we say steps? Step number one. The first step that you get to do is what do we say? Recognize what elements you have. Can you read my handwriting? Is it okay? Okay. Okay, there what elements you have. So in here, what I would do is, you know, this is a, a volt a source. So this is an AC element. This one is an R element, which we call it R1. This one is a, let's call it C1, and because we could have more than one, and this is L1. So these are the elements that we have. And in here you have, of course, the current I1, and this one you have current I2. sub Okay, so I would do this, say, okay, fine. Number two, we, we follow the same procedure. Use a one junction. What do we say, for what? For each distinct current. Let's try that. So we go down here and um, we do it the same way as we did up there. A one junction over here with an I, let's call it I1 over here. And this would be I sub 2. Yeah. Good. And then we, uh, what do we say on uh, step number three? Huh? We say attach the elements that experience this current. So let's write it down. Attach elements that experience or that, yeah. So why don't we attach the elements that experience those currents as I mentioned over here. So right here is the AC. So let's do that. This is the AC right there. The value of this is V. Huh? This one, you have, this is AC, of course, we direct power. Uh, power goes always into the elements. So this is the R value uh, with 
value are one. Okay. In here, this sees something in between the two, so that does not belong to this step because the only one that sees the current I sub two is this element on the right hand side, which is the I type of element with value F sub one. Right? That's now we have done the step number three. Step number four in this case, we need, because now we have a different thing, we are forced to, to do something about this element that doesn't see <coughs> I what, doesn't see I two, but what happens is that the current I one comes this way, like this. Uh, current I sub 2 goes this way, but this one right here is I1 minus I sub 2, right? Okay, so this element in here, the C1, doesn't see I1 <coughs> and doesn't see I2, but sees the difference in currents. So I would do this. You would say um, create the difference in currents, differences <coughs> in currents using zero junctions. Okay, so let's do that. We create the difference in using zero junctions. So this one right here, if we do it like this, is going to be the current difference um, called I1 minus I sub 2. You can say and represent those differences with one junctions. Okay. And then the other step number five would be to attach the elements that experience those differences. Attach the elements that experience those differences. Okay. And this in here is this element right there. How is that? It's pretty clear, right? And guess what? We are done. Wasn't it pretty mm -hmm. straightforward, simple? The only thing that we that we would that I would recommend on number six is yeah, I would say complete the causal strokes, complete causal marks, uh, but I in parentheses I, I put the same thing as I put up there, Camp G can do this automatically. Yes, I am going to put one system after this, and then you get you you get you, it's your turn. All right, all right, very good. So I I just want to uh, do the same thing as we did before.